This guide shows you how to change your DNS settings in Windows 10. Now this might help speed up your internet connection a little bit. Um, it might help you get to websites that your internet provider may have blocked, although it's not a complete replacement for a VPN and it won't do miracles, but it might help, up, help speed up your internet connection a little bit and uh, like I say, might help you get to websites that you can't ordinarily get to using your internet providers DNS. Of course it's also handy if your internet providers having problems with their DNS servers and you're finding that websites, certain websites aren't loading. Um, again this might help with that. Essentially a DNS server will tell your computer where to find the computer that you're trying to connect to i.e. or the website you're trying to connect to on the internet. Uh, when you say for instance you type in www.google.co.uk your uh, computer then connects to a DNS server and the DNS server tells your computer whereabouts on the internet it can find Google, it tells its IP address so that it, uh, it can actually connect to uh, Google. So okay we're going to show you how we can change that. So first of all, we move our mouse down to the start button in the bottom left hand corner of the screen and then left click once. Then when the start menu appears, type control space panel. And you type that on your keyboard. Then after a while, under best match, control panel desktop app will appear. Move your mouse over the word in control panel and click anywhere on the word in there. And that's a left click. Okay, so you might get this menu come up or you might get this menu come up or you might get this menu come up. So if you get this menu come up, you wanna click network and internet and then network and sharing center. Okay, if you get this menu come up, you want to click Network Sharing Center there. And if you get this menu up, you want to click Network and Sharing Center there. Okay, so once we're here, we move our mouse over Change Adapter Settings and left click once. Then we need to find our connection. Now usually the connection that we're using is either called Ethernet or Wi-Fi or wireless network or our wireless network name. But you will see two blue screens and that will indicate that you're currently using that connection, the two blue screens. If they're grey then it means it's a connection not being used at the moment. Okay, so move your mouse over the two blue screens, anywhere over the picture and then right click on the mouse. Move your mouse down to properties and then left click once and then move your mouse over to internet protocol version 4 tcp forward slash ipv4. Left click once on the wording and then move your mouse over properties and left click on the word properties. You'll see here it says obtain DNS server address automatically. Now we want to click the little circle, that's a left click, to the left of use the following DNS server addresses. Now here is where you put in your preferred DNS server. Now a couple of servers you can use is you could use Google's own DNS server which that address is 8 full stop 8 full stop 8 full stop 8. Okay, or you could use Cloudflare's DNS server, which is one full stop one full stop one full stop one, or you could use something like Open DNS, which is 208 full stop 67 full stop 222 full stop 222, or their other one is 208 full stop 67 full stop 220 full stop 220. Um, if you want to, you can put one server in the preferred DNS server and another server in the alternate server. Um, so you could put open DNS in the preferred server and perhaps Google in the alternate server or vice versa. Um, it's entirely up to you or you can just leave the alternate DNS server blank. 
Okay, so once you've put in your DNS server, your manual DNS server, just move your mouse over OK and left click once, and then move your mouse over close and left click once. Click the cross in the top right hand corner here, and then click the cross in the top right hand corner just here. And that's it. You've now manually set your DNS server's address. Um, if you want to put it back, then you just reverse this video and uh, what we do is we just go into again control panel so click the start button type on your keyboard control space panel then we need to if we're on this menu here we go to network and internet and then network and sharing center or if we're on the other menus we just go to network and sharing center then from here we left click change adapt to settings move our mouse over the two blue tv screens and then right click then move your mouse down to properties and left click move your mouse over internet protocol version 4 tcp ip forward slash ipv4 and left click anywhere on the word in there and then move your mouse over properties and left click properties and then left click the circle to the left of obtain DNS server, server address automatically. Click OK, click close, click the cross just up there and then click the cross just there. And there you go, you've put it back to the automatic DNS server as supplied by your router or your internet provider. Well, hope this guide helps. Thanks for watching.